Hey guys, okay. I'm some guy named Nate. And I'm Sandy ABG, and we're gonna try to get quickly back to where we were, and not be stupid about it. If you guys want a continuation of the story I was talking about, it's happening right now! Uh, half the actors at Rosecon, I know Vince hasn't been to Rosecon, which is a darn shame, so I hope he can go uh, next year with me. But uh, they upped the security and they upped the, like, we don't want any candid photos of these celebrities kind of a thing. So at every single person's booth, they had a, okay, there's my one, there's my one. I got totally ganked there. There was four monkeys. I was actually doing really freaking good. You were I, doing good. I'm I downed so two sorry. monkeys and then sniped that sniper. I was like, yeah. woo! There's like 80 monkeys down here, Rick Flair. It's, I'm scared. I'm Rick scared. But yeah, so after Weird Al's line, because how they did it is anyone who was a high value person, mm -hmm. they sanctioned off and put a big, like, anti camera tarp in front of them. And you have to, like, go through, like, a little area through a curtain in order to see them after you pay for them. Just so people aren't bitches and take, you know, photographs of them without their consent and stuff like that. Yeah. Uh, which is really weird that, like, some, it's like, it totally, totally makes sense. I'm like, Zachary Levi, sanctioned off? I right, cool. Uh, Carrie Elwes, sanctioned off? All right, cool. Dan Fogler, sanctioned off? Okay, cool. But, like, some of them, I was like, why are you sanctioned off? You're, like, a normal person. Like, you know, like, Holly Shore, Wallace Shawn. Uh. They're still actors, though. Yes. Like, Selfie. So Weird Al was on the sanction off one. But I got to have a good conversation with him. I got a Funko and a selfie. They, uh, don't, they don't want long distance photography on any artist. So I understand that completely. And Steven's one of my good, good, good chummies. But like, there's one thing that I was trying to inform him about that he didn't get. Because what happened was there was uh, Rose City Con employees at every booth of every celebrity. And if they saw anybody kind of reach for their phone, they would look at you and be like, what are you doing? What are you doing on your phone right now? Because they didn't want any candid photo. And he kept checking his phone because he kept texting Rebecca about the information about the Weird Al phone cover, mm -hmm. Weird Al prints that he got signed for her. And every single time, an angry employee would like look right over his shoulder and he didn't know what was going on. And I'm like, Steve, stop doing that. You're really pissing off the security here. And he's like, come on, man. You know, something like that. He's a nice guy though, everybody. I love Steven. Steven's a good guy. But I was trying to inform him that. Second line. Uh, two, the only two other celebrities I met at RoseCon were anime people. So Vince will discover the magic of these people later. But Justin Brenner, who is the most bubbly man of all time, was really cheap to me. And I had uh, his character from My Hero Academia. I had, a, I had the Funko of that. Even though that character's been Funko for the dead. There's like six different variants of Deku that you can buy as a Funko, but I got just the normal one when he's in his training outfit. So I had him sign that, and here's what happened before it. Upseller Central, and I got so pissed. Dude, Upseller is the worst human being in those I know, and they always look like fucking scuzzball piece of shit, doesn't even belong at this con. Why are they in here? They afford a fast pass so they can get cutscenes, you know? Yeah. And it pisses me off every single time. So what happened is in the fast pass line for Justin Brenner, two fucking neck beard twerk asses had, I shit you not, three suitcases full of Deku Funkos. It had him sign every single one. Although, um, to be fair, not all of them are upsellers. I have a lot of friends who do, like, consignment. Yes, that's totally okay. That's totally fine. But I'm talking about, like, I'm using a fast pass. I, you know, I bought these Funkos in bulk. I bought the autographs in bulk. Mm -hmm. Now I'm selling them each for 150 bucks. That's bull that's bullshit. But like, if it's like a Zobie Productions thing, and they actually, you know, got them, and they're like, okay, we're sitting down with this person. Oh, I can't skip here. Right. Legit people. Legit actually people actually have sit downs. Totally. They don't do it in line. No, because that takes up time of everybody else who actually. And wants And usually to meet people them. who are doing like consignment, like, hey, I've got a bunch of buddies who can't make it, so yeah, I'm getting a whole bunch of stuff for them. They usually don't go more than like 10, 15 pieces. Yeah, but fucking three suitcases, and they were to the to the brim too. They each had like twelve or some odd Funkos in there, and they're all like the expensive variants. You know, like the ones that were yeah. like... Yeah, ones that they can get the most amount of money for. Yep. I can tell they weren't fans. 
And Barry, I noticed. You stand up. God damn it, Barry. And I noticed that when. Come here, monkey. Uh, when Justin was signing through them, he was extremely businesslike, and he was like, okay, yeah. Squeaky, squeaky. Here you go. Squeaky, squeaky. Here you go. And for me, he was extremely bubbly, and he wrote a shit ton on my fungo. Like, he's like, oh, this guy actually knows who I am and likes my work. I right, cool. So he wrote a lot on my phone though. So he wrote, Justin Brenner, plus Ultra, you too can be a hero. And I was like, aw, thanks, Justin. And then I went into Monica, Re Monica Riel's line. Okay, I'm going to go into a bit of a history lesson here with you guys, and I don't want you guys to be on either side, because that's just bad. In February of this year, Victor Mignola, who's an anime voice actor, got charged with sexual harassment against four anime voice actresses. One of them who brought it up was the biggest bringer-upper of it was Monica. So, Steven, being a pro-Vic kind of guy, he was like, I fucking hate this woman. Why are you meaning her? Like, you know, what the hell kind of, a, kind of a situation. And I was like, I like her character. She's probably a nice person. I don't care about controversy. I don't care about scandal. I want to talk to her because I want to talk to her. And in line, I could see him, like, bottling his emotions. I thought he was going to get pissed at her, but she is one of the nicest fucking people I've ever met. She was extremely cheery, she's done anime voice acting for like 20 years. She wrote a shit ton on my Funko for her character as well. And again, when upsellers got in her life, the same exact upsellers went the same exact upsellers went into the Monica line and went to the Fast Pass line right after I left the Justin line. Mm -hmm. So I had to deal with them again with another suitcase or two full of Bulmas and Froppies. And then, so that pissed me off. And I was talking smack about upsellers really loudly in line on purpose. I was like, yeah, you can tell he doesn't give a fuck about the actor who's just trying to make a quick buck. And then there was this Hispanic couple who were also upsellers who looked at me so fucking angrily. They're well, like, it's true. It's true. You're, you're being a dick here. I'm just pointing out that you're being a dick. It, 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 it'd be like if someone was like, you know, really hated... I don't know, I can't think of an analogy here. Can you think of an analogy, Vince? Help me. Damn it! I got monkeyed. Okay, sorry. Okay, so the, the monkeys usually come out first on my side. Like, they, they come, come out in the hall. Yeah. But it's different I, fucking every time. I get two waves of monkeys. First wave of monkeys, wave of drones, and snipers, wave of monkeys. And Cole doesn't do fuck all about helping me. Baird likes to stand right in my line of fire, right when I go to fire. Yep. And I'm just like, you piece of shit. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to trigger them and then I'm going to run back in the hallway. That's what I keep trying to do is trigger them. I'm like, come on, monkeys, come out. See, there they are this time. They're actually here. They, all ran, they ran back. But yeah, so Monica, I was expecting at least some one person to... Uh, to talk to her about the controversy, which I really didn't want to happen, because that's a no-no. That is talking to a celebrity 101 no-no. You do not talk about any controversy they had. Talk about the good stuff. Talk about the brighter side of their career. Don't be like, so, sexual harassment allegations, am I right? You know, that's a no-no. And of course, after the upsellers, because what they were doing in the anime person's line, oh fuck, is that they would uh, get like all the fast pass, and then they would get a little bit from the normal line. And then they would, you know, more people show up in the fast pass line. They would, you know, get more people in the fast pass line. So those being couples talks to Monica about the scandal. Okay, that's a lesbian couple because they're all about scandals. Yeah. Because they live a scandal. Because they Okay, everybody, I love I love everyone. Like whatever you do, cool. Yeah, I don't like don't don't fucking bring up controversy to a celebrity. I don't care who you are. If they were the most hetero couple of all time, the same exact race, it doesn't matter. Like, yeah, I, I really don't, don't care. You yeah, do you, if you... If you're happy, I'm happy for you. Yeah. But, like, fucking don't be like, you know, fight the power. Here, let's talk about controversy for fucking 20 days. One thing, one thing I really hate, like, I, I don't mind. You do you, you fight your fight, you do whatever you gotta do. Yes. I'm perfectly okay with that. But when that's all you are, is just... Scandal and bringing up fights, and I just don't want to be around you. Yeah. Like, I get that you're going through a tough time, but seriously, like. There's other things you can talk about. Yeah, there's other things Steve, you can talk Steve about. Steve and I talked to her about something awesome, but we'll get to that. So, they actually made Monica cry. I don't know if they were, like, joy tears or sad tears, but she hugged them and wept. 
like, no, 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 don't do that. And I thought, I was like, great, I'm like five from the line. She's just gonna still be crying and emotional after this fucking part. Oh, dude, I had that happen to me once, you know? It was in the Felicity Day line. Oh, it was? And, yeah. Oh, man. Like, whoever she talked to about something, like, she was just... She was just I don't sad. know, she got pissed off. Yeah. She got pissed off at him, so now she's pissed off when I'm trying to go through lines and trying to have a good time, and I'm like, well, you just ruined my experience. Thanks, assholes. Yeah. Like, it's stupid. But it was great. Like, every single other person after her talked about anime, talked about her career, you know, normal shit. And that was good. I'm gonna be really fucking safe this episode. Fuck. Uh, but I talked to her. I was like, I complained a little bit, like a little minor complaint. I was like, oh, Monica, it's a shame that everyone else asked you such good questions. I can't think of a question to ask you. You know, something like that, just being like, I'll like try to make her be the instigator of the conversation. You know? Oh yeah. Oh man, Cole, you fucking loser. There you go. Almost. But I talked to her about pizza. Damn Not like pizza, <laughs> but like uh, because pineapple does go on pizza. Yeah, it does. It's delicious. I love Hawaiian pizza. Also, one of my mom's favorites that she's always has is olive, green pepper, and pineapple. I don't have a red gun. This monkey, I don't have a red gun in my head. It's a long shot, and the monkey's getting it. Oh my god. Okay. But yeah. So I I learned about this about her. Her dad owned a pizza parlor when she was a kid and fed her pizza nonstop for three months. And I'm like, oh my god, you must hate pizza. And she's like, yeah, I hated pizza for about two years. You know? So I had a real conversation with her, and I talked about anime, like you should, if you're talking to an anime person. And she's like, yeah, I Whatever you're doing, you're distracting that guy, so... It's yeah, cool. I was. I was shooting the stupid minigun guy. And now I'm going down into your level. Got yes. it. Checkpoint. Yes. We did it. Got it. You know it. That's look, why we're here. look, Vince, it's me. I'm on the turret now. Look, it's me. I'm helping. Oh, oh. Are we about to get people? Yeah, no, I blew up your exit route. See that? Oh, okay, that's what, that's what I was do. supposed to do. Alright, cool. You're welcome. What well, can I say except you're welcome? Got it. I need oh, these guns in my shit. So we met all the actors, and then it was like 3 30, something like that. So we did an initial sweep of, sweep, sweep of the con. Very, very fun. But Steven, wa Steven, I love him to death, but he loves beer. Beer, beer, beer is good. I love beer. But he was like, let's hit up the laboratory. And I was concerned because we had a hatchback. We had a Chevy Volt. We're not it was going okay. anywhere yet. So I was like, well, it's a hatchback. Right. Everyone's going to fucking see our Domino stuff in the back. The our autographs and you our bags and all can. kinds of shit. So let's make this quick. So he wanted to hang out with Rebecca and Brian. And he wanted to go to Laboratory and Tamale Boys. Which, Tamale Boys is the second half of the story. Ooh, this is a big story time with Nate, isn't it, everybody? Aren't you happy? Caring for wounded and flagging for pickup. Is a conservatory clear? Yeah, I love walking slow. As far as I can tell, Delta this One. Part. Then that's our route. Just walk back to you. There we go, the long, long road home. Bad doors. All right, so. We went to Laboratory. The cider was all right. And then we went to Tamale Boy. I picked the hottest, hottest tamales. And it... The hot sauce got in the tongue burns, and I felt horrible. So, note to self, don't do what I did. Don't burn the hell out of your tongue, tear it open, and then get habanero sauce in your tongue. Well, the habanero sauce is supposed to go on the tongue. No, on the tongue, not in the tongue. Okay, we got that, we got it. And then we hung out with Rebecca and Brian a little bit, we watched funny internet videos. But Saturday, uh, Brian wanted to go to Comic Con, and he went with us last year along with his wife. But they had a babysitter for the kids, so they could, you know, enjoy the con. This time, he, his youngest kid wanted to go, or his oldest kid of, of the three. Like How ten, old is it? Ten. Ten. Okay, that's understandable. Yeah. So we all went. Thing, two things I forgot about kids: they absorb everything. If I'm, if you're a bad influence, which Shit, I am. Hammer down. Yeah. I guess I'll have to pick it up. Mind. I'll drop my long shot for okay, now. Okay, you threw it right there. Just remember it. Uh, and two, they're impatient. So waiting in line with a child was awful. All right, kick that shit. Oh, shit. Oh damn. Jack, rip this door. Okay, now here, here's where we're gonna. Something's gonna come out. Yep. Oh, you know it. Back up. That's why they gave you a hammer of dawn here. Yep. Hide behind this wall. Yeah, I know what that means. 
But yeah, so it was kind of crappy the last day. Because that was our supposed to be our cleanup day. But we spent most of the time, you know, buying things for Brian, his wife, and his kids. And I only was able to spend, like, 60 bucks on the last day. I got two prints and two pins. I wanted to spend more time there, but the kid got hungry. So we went to Red Robin. And uh, I had, like... Oh, I didn't even know there was something there. Uh, I got a parking spot outside, so again, I was being paranoid to go because we had a hatchback and at that point we had our luggage and shit in the back too, so I was like, yeah, let's not spend too much time, uh, at Red Robin. So we did, I uh, Red Robin there, you know, it's just the fancier shit. But that's okay, Red Robin's Fancier always... shit's cost more fancier than me. Yes, they do. So I was like, I can deal with it, I need to have money for gas money home, and blah blah blah, and bills. So I was like, let's do Red Robin. I had a delicious guacamole burger. It was very good. And then uh, we went back to their house for a little bit at like 3.30 or 4. And then I was in for a little bit. And then I was like, yeah, we should probably get to driving home. And then we got home at like 10.30. I, I kind of want to do a haul video of all the stuff I got, guys. It wasn't that much compared to my usual. But, <coughs> man, but man, it was awesome. I got two prints, three pins, three autographs. A fridge magnet, uh, a thinsulated mug. Thinsulated? Yeah. A. It's one of those like. It, it's there was a vendor there called Wild Bill's Homemade Soda, and their deal was if you buy a mug, you can just buy the mug outright, or for slightly more, they put a little sticker on your a little band or on the handle of your mug, and you get unlimited free soda refills. And their soda is pretty expensive. Mm -hmm. It's like three dollars for twelve ounces. So I was like, yeah, sure, this cup is going to hold 32 ounces, I'll do that. And that was the most expensive dumb thing I bought, but I've used the heck out of it since I got home. Like, every single time I have water or soda or juice, I put it in that, it stays really cold. Nice, got him. Going for the ammo. Okay, oh, another emergency hole. Get that door open. Get out of here. Oh, boomers! Control, tell me those satellites. I think I got Lancer bullets now. I think I got Torque Bow. I only got 84 bullets. Yeah. Oh. I'm Boomer. Fuck. I Torque Bow. Oh! Did you get me? Yeah, I got you. I thought that was an AI for a second. I was like, that's cool. Thanks, man. <laughs> I thought we were dead because I was used to us failing. <laughs> Boom shot. Yeah, uh, two oh. boom shots. Damn it. Damn it. Is that it? Yeah. Well, I'm going back to the... get my long shot again because I didn't really freaking need this hammer of dawn. Look at the hole I made in the wall though. That's really cool. I Don't made a hole in the do. wall. Hole in the wall. Did he get the door? Did yeah, it? he did. Okay, he did. Why did he... made me think I needed a hand or hammer of dawn? Hammer of dawn, yeah. Nice. Now Alright guys, wanna, you wanna cut it after we talk to our gears? Yeah. Hostiles everywhere! We're getting the hell just out! Keep walking. Watch your ass, you watch your ass, we'll see you at the house. Okay guys, on the next installment of Gears of War, Vince and I are going to continue on, and then after this session we're getting food. Thank you guys so much for watching, I'm gonna see you in the next river. Later, later dudes! dudes.